<laughs> All right. Welcome back. We're today we're going to draw this thing or we're going to paint this thing. Um, now, I've already deleted my guidelines. Uh, the guidelines were on a bottom layer. Uh, the ink is on the top layer. And we've made this little middle layer here. And that's going to be our color layer. So that's how I do things. That's how I've learned to do things. Um, there may be a better way, but uh, that's just how I've been doing it. So to uh, basically um, to color... And this is kind of something I've picked up uh, way back when I was drawing in uh, Mario Paint on the Super Nintendo. Um, to me, color coloring is basically you take a color, um, just a base color. Like here, I, I've, I have this kind of like, it's a very almost like deadened flesh tone. And I start with that color. And then I make it darker, and that's my shading. Uh, and then I make it lighter, and that's my highlights. Now, that's a very unsophisticated way of coloring, because there, there's more to color than that, especially if you're drawing a more realistic style. But this is a very cartoony style, so I'm not too worried about it. The cat is going crazy. Um, and the one thing I can do in Photoshop that I couldn't do in Mario Paint is... I can actually change the opacity of the color. So uh, after I get done filling in everything with the color I want, I'll make this darker. And then I change the opacity to about 50%. And then I start drawing the shading. Kitty. <laughs> I start doing the shading. Um, now what I was going for on the skin was kind of a... a like death clock makeup except like if that was his actual skin speaking of the kitty uh that thing that popped up there was the cat walking across the keyboard while i was trying to draw um <laughs> i eventually i'll learn to keep the kitty out of the room but um <laughs> until then this is an adventure for me um let's see where are we uh, so like I was trying to do like, uh, what if, what if that death clock makeup was your actual skin and then, uh, went from there. I don't want it to like, you know, I didn't want to make it, I want him to look kind of like a zombie, but not explicitly Rob zombie. Although I think I failed at that, but, but that was definitely kind of the inspiration anyway. So that's what, that's what's happening. Um, so here I am, I'm shading. Just doing a lot of shading. Do do do. Shading that knee. Now the the hands are ridiculously huge and the arms are ridiculously long. And um I do have something planned that involves those arms getting longer and more ridiculous. Um so but I'm not gonna say what it is. You're just gonna have to uh, come back uh when when I start doing that. But for now, we're coloring. So, this is going to be another long video, 30 minutes. So, I'm going to be struggling to find things to talk about. Um, it's cold. Um, <laughs> the weather is cold. I turned off the heaters um, to help reduce ambient sound. Um, but the cat has plenty of ab ambient sound to add to this video. So, he will have lots of fun doing that. Now we're moving on to the hair here. The hair's a lot of fun. Um, if you know what you're doing, I barely know what I'm doing. Um, so you kind of start off with, um, you know, your base color, your brown. And brown, if you have trouble finding it uh, in like Photoshop or, or in some other computer program, usually just take orange and add black to it or go down the dark side of black uh, or dark dark side of orange and it it's usually pretty pretty darn close to the browns you want um then uh, obviously you want to get darker like i get into a more chestnut area and again just like last time you want to kind of find the shapes in the hair 
you want to find where those shapes are um, and then just fill them in, shade them in. This hair's a little wild. Now, uh, then highlights. Highlights are fun with hair because you want to basically just get the thinnest pin possible uh, that's still visible, and then you just fill it in. You make those highlights, and it really makes it stand out, really makes it pop, makes it look like actual hair and not just just a lot of brown blobs everywhere because that that's when it really starts looking like hair is when you add those highlights really thin fine strokes and then suddenly it's like pow it's hair it's like whoa whoa dude all right so uh for his like suit jacket thing slash scarecrow accoutrements um I probably didn't pronounce that correctly. Um, I went with this green because I like the way it looked against the brown of his hair. So that's pretty much, that was pretty much the thought process there. I don't know. Just a, like a pea green suit jacket he picked up at Value Village. That was all ripped up. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. You know... Thinking about it, maybe it should have just been like a leather jacket. Although a le leather jacket wouldn't give me those shoulders. Or like a sleeveless like denim thing might have been better. I don't know. It just I needed something to give me those shoulders. I I had those shoulders in my head and I needed I needed pointy shoulders. Oh, it kinda has a uh Kevin Smith vibe going on. Or maybe it should have uh, maybe it should have been a long trench coat or something. I don't know. I do kind of like the way it looks. I I don't know how to justify it logically. I just like the way it looks. So I'm kind of stuck with it. I mean, it's just like that, that Metal Jesus skull. I just like the way it looks. I don't know. I don't think he owns a shirt that has that logo on it, but he should. Everyone should. He should just put that out as a t-shirt. I would buy one. It's really cool. So, like I said, I just think it, I think that color green, just kind of the hair, it, it works. Um, let's see. And here I go. Now for this kind of... For cloth highlights... Um, you want to make the highlights just really subtle. You don't want to do too many highlights on cloth. Um, you can tell how... Uh, you can tell how, like, shiny a material is based on... How strong the highlights are. Um, I might have made them a little too strong here, but yeah, what are you gonna do? So this is me um, coloring in the shirt. You can see I forgot to turn the opacity back from all that shading and highlighting I was doing. Um, but I end up with this color gray. And then I get done and I'm like, you know what? Let's open this up <laughs> and I'm literally taking the dropper and I am pulling color directly from that image and that's a fun thing you can do in Photoshop uh, or and other drawing programs you just take the dropper and you pull the color you want so I am pulling color directly from that image uh, to in order to match the um, the exact background color in this case of of the metal jesus skull and then i'm gonna go here in a second and start pulling the reds from it and 
yep there we go there's the red it's almost like a it's almost like a pink really And yeah, I, I painstakingly uh, recreated that skull in this drawing. Had a lot of fun doing the skull. Spent way too much time on that skull. It probably was not necessary. But I'm having fun. That's all that matters, right? That's That's what I'm doing. I'm that's that's why I'm drawing is I'm having fun and I figure I might as well record it it doesn't cost anything record it and uh, record some commentary for it all for you oh boy uh, again just trying to find ways to fill out time so I'm doing shading right now Again, this video is like sped up, um, and I, I'm hoping there isn't a dip in quality. I did have a little situation where my hard drive filled up, so this part of the video got corrupted. Uh, again, I'm, I'm kind of learning this stuff as I go along. Um, so my hard drive got corrupted, um, or no, the hard drive didn't get corrupted. The video got corrupted, and... I had to load it into a, a different program um, in pieces and basically like recreate it as an MP4. Uh, and it was not very much fun. It was very time consuming. And it's actually late at night when I'm recording this and I should be in bed, but I'm not. Because I had to recreate all that. So you can see I'm zooming out to try and... Uh, try and get a better look at what I'm drawing and make sure that it's uh, it's all still looking good and the colors are matching and all that good stuff now denim's kind of a fun thing to draw um, unlike uh, unlike most things when I draw denim I, I, I want it to look like denim so um, unlike other things when I'm drawing it and I don't care I guess I, I, I don't know what I'm talking about right now but basically um for denim i actually do it in like two two levels so my first level my first level is just a base color so the base color is blue we all know that blue jeans are blue um but obviously once you have that down you want to add that layer on top of it of the wear and tear of the uh of the denim so that's a real simple and fun thing to do. Once I'm done with all this shading, I will you will see what I do. Once again, so there we go. Lots of lots of details in there. And then I just go super light with it. I make the opacity 50% and then I just Lines, 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 down his legs. Line, 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 scribble, 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 scribble. It's almost a scribble, but I try to make it lines. You know, a zigzaggy scribble doesn't quite look right. So you want those nice lines. Um, and even that's not light enough, so I'm going to end up going over it with another, with another, um, yeah, make it even lighter. And then just one more. And right now I'm just kind of, you know, the torn parts of his uh, jeans. I'm making sure those are good and put together. Okay. So, yeah, I'm just being quiet right now. I don't know. <laughs> you probably think the video froze.
at this point I, I may be talking to my wife at this point oh no now I'm back at I'm back drawing I could have edited that that part out I guess but I didn't <laughs> so um yeah here I am talking about them jeans again you know I, I just want to back up I want to make sure I didn't make those jeans too light now we're back down to the converse kiss my converse yeah last dragon such an awesome movie anyways so I'm drawing the converse and I'm gonna be drawing At some point, I, I zoom out and realize that that's too bright of a color. This uh, this Ronald McDonald shoe color. So at some point, I'm going to realize that's not that's not good. That's not right. And I'm going to make them darker. But for now, they're this. It's Ronald McDonald time. Ba da ba ba ba. I don't like that color. Anyways. So white, obviously. Um, now you can just go gray on white, um, or depending on what exactly you are drawing. Now for shoes, obviously I'm going to go gray because you know it's, they get kind of dirty and dingy, and that kind of adds to that effect. But if you're doing, oh wow, <laughs> had a little spaz attack there. Um, If you're doing like snow or clouds, you know, depending on what kind, what type of day it is, uh, what time of day it is, you know, maybe you want to go a little lavender for the for the shading. Maybe you want to maybe you want to do a little uh, little orange or something. You know, uh, if it if it's snow, lavender lavender shading on snow looks amazing. And, you know, maybe that doesn't sound right in a video um, that has, like, a heavy metal intro um, about a, a guy named Metal Jesus, uh, drawing a guy, about drawing of a guy named Metal Jesus. Um, but you know what? That's, I don't care. Uh, I'm secure in my masculinity, and uh, I don't, I don't, I just don't care. <laughs> so anyways, um... So you can see what I'm doing here is I'm drawing the uh, the screen, this kind of weird pea green, old fashioned computer monitor. Now on a computer monitor like this, and the old tube monitors, um, kind of the shell of the monitor kind of goes into the screen, uh, you know, it bezels in, I guess, and then the screen kind of bulges out. So what you'll see I'm doing is on on the um, bottom and side I put the highlights on this on the shell on the bezel and then on the top and other side I have shading but you'll see when I do the screen I'll do the opposite it gives you the effect that it is bulging out that it, the screen goes in and then it bulges back out and that's just one of the many fun things you can do with color you can see here I'm adding the shading uh, on the side that is highlighted on the on the other surface and then I highlight it where it's shaded on the other surface and that gives the effect that it's kind of popping out and then I kind of realize mm, I need to Add a little bit more shading into the screen to make it look more like glass. And again, the shinier something is, the more, um, I guess, contrast between the regular color and the uh, highlight color is going to be. But in this case, most shiny things, we kind of perceive the highlight color to be white. But, uh, yeah, I think that computer monitor turned out pretty good. Now, here I am typing in VCS uh, so I can make sure that I get the original Atari color scheme down. 
wanted to make sure uh, make sure I do it justice. Now uh, I I know that Metal Jesus is a big fan of um, Atari, especially one particular game called Hero. Um, you can see it at the beginning of each one of his videos. It's his favorite Atari game. Now me personally, I I owned an Atari twenty six hundred. And I just don't have as many fond memories of it, I think, as maybe it's just because, you know, I'm uh, the Nintendo was more was more of a popular console during my formative years. I, I don't know if it's an age thing or if it's just I, I just just a matter of taste, I guess. But um, I just I don't like to go back to the I don't really like to go back to the whole. Uh, Atari 2600. There just doesn't seem to be much on there for me. But, uh, you know, to each their own. I, I do think that hero game is pretty good of what I've what I've played of it. I used to play... I think that I, I had an old... Uh, I think it was... Yeah, it was like an Activision collection on PlayStation 2. Um, that had all their old Atari games on it. And I would play along, play around with those. Pitfall and Pitfall Two and Hero were were my favorites on there. So and then okay, the wood grain. We talked about the wood grain last time. Uh, wood wood grain's a really easy effect to get. You just kind of, again, you just get your browns and your highlights, and you just kind of push it on through, and you end up with a nice wood grain effect. And then I. Didn't want to put too much detail into that Atari logo because it's going to be real tiny, and when you're when you're dealing with this kind of stuff, you don't want a whole lot of detail. Because if you spend time just working on these tiny details, it just looks like a mess when you zoom out. Part of part of learning how to draw and learning about art is learning. Kind of how your eyes work, um, and just how your eyes, how to trick your eyes into to, because drawings are basically an optical illusion. They're not real. It's uh, you're tricking your eye. It's like this is not metal Jesus. This is a drawing of metal Jesus. This is not a pipe. So you can see I kind of zoomed out and freaked out there for a second because the um, I didn't like the way the shoes looked, the color of the shoes. And then also the color of the screen changed. I'm assuming that's because the um, at some point the color of the screen changed. And I'm assuming that's because the video um, was corrupt. And hopefully that doesn't affect the quality too much. Here's a Super Nintendo. I can pretty much do a Super Nintendo from memory. I don't need to go googling for VCS googling for SNES and then uh, you get a nice purple for them buttons there we go looking good looking good like a Super Nintendo should and then we move up to the milk crate full of records now I don't know if, where he keeps his records he's probably got a better system than a milk crate but for me I don't know from my personal taste milk crates just kind of scream this is where you keep your records and nothing excites me more than at a yard sale than seeing just a milk crate full of records I just want to see if they have uh, Herb Albert's Tijuana Brass or something <laughs> <laughs> it seems like everybody's got that record. Everybody who has a bunch of records probably has that record. I don't know if Metal Jesus does, but it wouldn't surprise me. I feel like everyone has that record. Um, what is it? What, what was that album? It's like whipped cream and finer things, something. Ugh. Yeah, this video is going long, so I'm I'm just gonna ramble. Okay, so. To make the effect of the all of these records in here, um, obviously, 
you know, you have a bunch of records together, most of them are different colors. So I just kind of went through the color wheel and just picked random, random, rec random colors. You know, that light, light blue one could be like a Yes album. You know, that could be, the orange could be like a Dio album or something. I don't know, maybe that's Purple Rain right there. Um, just keep going. And then, so I don't have to go through and find those colors again to do the shading correctly. Um, I just use the Burn and Dodge tool to kind of shade and do highlights on this. Now, that is a method you could use when you're doing shading and highlighting. It doesn't quite look right, and you can pretty much tell when somebody's using it. But, um, uh, you know, it's one way to go. And it doesn't really show up much in my monitor, so hopefully you're seeing kind of what it's doing to the color there darkening it up and, and then you use the um, dodge tool to uh, lighten it up is it vice versa I don't know okay so isn't it neat that I put the uh, Atari on one side Atari controller on one side and the system on the other side and then they cross over that was completely unintentional I don't think I was thinking of doing that when I did it but I like it it's a happy accident so here I am uh, like I said you know even though those controller we know those controllers are black um, I start with gray and then go darker and then that way it makes things a little bit easier besides it's not really I mean yeah, your eyes see it as black, and you're thinking it's black, but really, the way light plays off of it, very little of it is black. So, and my sad uh, Super Nintendo controller over here um, actually looks pretty good once I, you know, get it colored and shaded. I, I was not, I was not as disappointed with it once, once it got shaded. I don't know something about uh, coloring it and shading it here's a fun problem um, when your pin tool um, when you try to draw something small and it just uh, it treats it as a right click there is a thing you can do in Windows to uh, fix that maybe I'll make a tutorial video and here I am deleting the flames because uh, I've got some plans for the that area that dead area so I hope you come and see what my plans for that are. Please like, comment, subscribe. Bye-bye.